Okay, so we're going to look at how to do an outline on Noodle Tools. So you need to come to the Noodle Tools homepage first, which is noodletools.com, and sign in. So we'll start from the ground up. So this will bring you, when you log in, you're on your main screen. If you have multiple projects, you want to choose the appropriate project. The one we've been using is should be the one with your name and then your subject. The subject I kind of picked for myself just to be a demonstration was the animal shelter project we didn't end up doing. Uh, so I'll click that. And this has my dashboard, which is, it's got my research question there and then space for sub questions or whatnot. But we've been working most recently with our note cards, so you can go to your note cards up here, which is also where the outline piece is kept. The outline piece is right over here on the side of the page, if you've seen that, and then over here are your note cards. So doing the outline is fairly straightforward. You've got this piece here, and it can organize topics and subtopics for you. Um, I'm gonna uh, so you've got topic, this could be your main research question. I have my, I, everyone's research questions are on Google Drive that you've shared with your group. I have mine saved in a keynote file, so um, I'm going to, or those are my sub-questions. Where's my main research question? We'll grab that from my dashboard. So I'm going to grab my main research question from my dashboard, which is what effects does having an animal shelter have on a community? We go back to note cards, and then for topic, that's my that's my main topic, and I'm just going to paste that in. So, Control V, and now I've got my research question there. And so, what I want to do is I want to enter my sub questions, so then I can start filing note cards under my sub questions. So, I think if I click on this and then I hit the green plus, that lets me add a second topic. I want it to be a subtopic. Drag that in. Ah, that's no fun. I don't want it to be a second topic. I want it to be a subtopic. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to say yes, I'm deleting that. Uh, and then, ah, there we go. So subtopic. So here's where I can enter my sub questions. And you can copy and paste these right from that Google Drive document that your group has been using. If you modified some of the sub questions to suit your own purposes, you can use those research questions. But mine I stored in this keynote file. So I'm going to just take these sub questions and I'm going to copy that first one. What services do animal shelters provide? That was just kind of an overview of what shelters do. I'm going to paste that there. And then I'm going to add another sub question. Oop. I'm going to put that one. Oh, there we go. So if you need to if you indents wrong, like it does a sub-sub question, you can move these to the left and the right by selecting these two buttons up here. So I could put a subtopic for A, or I could move it back and make it a subtopic under 1, or I could make it a separate topic. But for now, I want just a subtopic under my main research question. So I want B. I'm going to add in um, why are homeless pets a problem? Actually, I think that's part of, for my questions that I came up with, that actually probably would be a subtopic under A. It would be part of what animal shelters do. Just they take care of problem pets. Why are pets a problem? I'm going to put those together. Just, I don't want too many sub-questions because then my paper gets longer and longer and I give myself more to do. And if a topic is small, you can see if you can combine it in with another related topic. But I like these uh, four topics with the why are homeless pets a problem under topic one. So paste this in under B. There we go. Then I'm going to create another one. Oh, that might have put it under B. I want a C, so I've moved it left. There we go. Here's this one. And then I'm going to create one more. Oh, still try to put it under C. There. I hit it left to make it a D. And there's this one. Alright, so now I have all of my subtopics in there. And I created just a few 
note cards over here on the left, just as kind of examples. I haven't actually been researching this topic and keeping note cards, but all of you should have about 40 note cards when you're starting to sort these into your outline. And so then what you can do is look at the note cards, and I said benefits provided by a shelter, and that fits in under my uh, research sub-question A, what services do animal shelters provide? That's the benefits that they have. So I'm going to put that right under uh, A, and so then it puts that note card there for me, and then it puts a check mark in the upper left-hand corner to tell me that that's categorized somewhere. So I'm, my goal is to categorize all of these pieces of information so that they fit neatly within my paper. So this note card, which I'm trying to select, reacting. Ah, whoops, I opened it. It's blank inside. Oh, behavioral benefits. So there are two different kinds of benefits that I had. So I'm going to put both of those under A. And so this is just a process of looking at what you have for information and organizing it. So this was dangers that animals present. So that goes under why are homeless pets a problem. That was kind of a sub-question. So shelters are helping people. I have to kind of establish that there's a problem and then that's a space for them to help. And then, how pets improve our lives. That goes under sub-question D. How are pets, um, what are the benefits to having pets when people get them from shelters? And then I had a quote for the benefit of shelters. Right there, that fits there. And then a paraphrase that was looking at, what was this paraphrase? Animals in the wild. Let's see. Um, and then I'm going to put that actually, I think that would fit under how much is, how much of a problem is this in this area. Um, so I'll file that there. So then once I've got my note cards organized, um, earlier someone had a question about what if one section is more developed than another one. You want a minimum of information under each subtopic but sometimes certain subtopics will have much more information around them. And looking at this outline, you can see that I've got a lot of information under sub-question A, what services animal shelters provide, but I've only found a little bit under each of these other ones. You all will be sorting out 40 note cards, but this can give you a sense for the development of each subtopic that you have. And if you're missing a lot of information under one of these subtopics, like I don't have anything for this C, which is how do, to what degree do animal shelters help problems associated with homeless pets. I need to go back through my sources and look for that information. Maybe I can see if I've miscategorized some of my note cards and I need to move some in under this topic. Or if I just didn't find a lot of information on this subtopic, I should go back to Google Scholar or Marvel or Google News um, or any other sources like those and find information related to that subtopic. Um, so then this gives you your outline which you then can then go right up here to the right and print and so then you always have access to that. One thing I noticed when I was doing this uh, outline to be careful of, if I go in here and I want to change something about the subtopic and I hit delete, it seemed, whoop, it went back, why did it do that? It wasn't supposed to do that. That was not part of the plan. There's all my information. Earlier it seemed like I when I, I was going to delete, oh it was the delete up here. If you hit this red X and it goes delete, it says are you sure you want to delete the selected topic and content associated with it? Um, I don't believe you want to hit yes because that will delete everything below there and then like that, all of that's gone and I have to resort things. So you probably can I control Z out of that? No, and I can't undo that. So be careful with this red delete button. It can undo work that you have done. I did that just to show you. It apparently does not delete the note cards, but it can undo a lot of your hard work. So be careful with that red delete. If you need to move topics and subtopics around, you can use these left to right arrows. And then if you want to move things up or down in your list, you can use these arrows here. So um, a lot can be done here. Be careful with the delete. When you're all done, you can print this out and then have your outline right next to you when you're writing your paper, and then all your thinking is organized. Any questions about the outline right now?
or what questions do people have? No questions at the moment, that's fine. Okay, so if you do have questions, simply let me know.